Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're gonna get into budget Bluetooth speakers all under 100 bucks Now I've been getting a lot of requests to do another one of these videos. So here we go another one Now all of these speakers I got from amazon.com. I'll throw the links up in the description We're not gonna do a full review on each of them. We'll just unbox them. We'll test out the sound test out a couple of features and we'll keep it moving. So I'm gonna try to make this as quick as we can, but y'all know, no editing allowed. So let's go. So the first one we got today, we got the E-Joy water dancing speakers. Now, real quick, these actually aren't Bluetooth, but the price was so cheap, I had to throw them in the video, and I'm curious to see how they look. All right, so let's pull up the website real quick, I get y'all the price. Of course, Amazon.com. These ones gonna run you $19.99. All right, so 20 bucks for these. Pause this and read it for yourself if you want, but let's just scan through the features. Let's see, uh, blah, 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 Vivid, Clisu Creel, LED Show, okay, Dancing Waters. And uh, now, okay, check this out. The water rises according to the volume. All right, so we'll see how that works. 20 bucks for these. Let's check it out. Okay, not bad with the presentation. Like I said, these are non-Bluetooth, so you're going to have to use the, the provided cables. Ah. We're not going to beast mode just yet, fellas. Not yet. Okay. Let's see what these look like. Okay. The usual books and shit. Easy setup. Six watts built-in amplifier. USB power supply. Little chart show you how to connect them. Let's see what you get in this little bag. Okay, so here's your, aux <laughs> your auxiliary cable. I was going to say the aux cord. Yeah, I know. The aux cord right here. And micro USB cable. Matter of fact, oh, this is for uh, mini USB. All right, mini USB power supply. I'm going to have to grab one of these portable chargers. And we'll let this rock. All right, so there's water in these speakers. Let's connect these real quick. Okay, so you got USB supply and auxiliary more USB. All right, so let's plug these up or in. <laughs> oh, boy. I know. No editing allowed, so just grab your popcorn. This might take a few minutes. Okay, wait a minute. Maybe it's USB to USB. Let's try that. Okay, let's 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 let's, let's figure this out on the fly. We'll just plug this one in. Of course, I had it upside down. And we'll plug in this power cord. Curious to see how this is going to look. Plug in the power cord. Audio. Okay, easy setup. So that should be good. Let's grab my favorite battery charger of all time. Now, trust me, fellas. This is the best battery charger you can get. The Zero Lemon. I don't even know if they still got this on Amazon. Somebody hit me up. Said they wasn't having any. Uh, they didn't have it anymore, but... Let's see. Okay, this looks dope. Kind of looks like the other ones. Let's get some music real quick. Now, all of the music, I'm going to use the same song over and over. I'm going to use the song from my new mixtape called Raymond Noodles Bitch. But before we do that, <laughs> let's have a quick laugh. Let's, let's make sure this works. Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with the white <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, boy, that's so funny to me. Now, a lot of people don't get that and don't get why it's so funny, but everybody got that one friend that stay gassing you up. And that, that's all he's doing. It ain't really nothing fancy about that. It ain't meant to be too funny. But we all got that one friend. All right, so let's get some uh, music. This is from the new mixtape, Raymond Noodles Bitch. Let's go. Let's get some volume on this. Max value. Let's dim the lights real quick. Actually, not bad, not bad. Okay. 
Not bad at all. Let's pause this. All right, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Not blown away by the sound, but this is $20 speakers right here, so don't expect to be blown away. But they sound pretty good. This will be perfect on your desk at work or on your little computer center in the house, your little game room. Just add some little colors, add a little, you know, a little mood lighting. These ain't bad at all. Now, the only problem, they're not Bluetooth, so you're going to have to use the aux cord. But um, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, so on a scale of 1 to 10, those is a go for $20. I, I can't even complain about that. I'll probably set that up somewhere in the office. Have it looking cute. <laughs> That's real cute. All right, OCD alert. What we got next? Let's keep it moving. All right, let's back to the back to the websites. All right, so next we got the easy, we got the easy ACC DP100s. All right, easy ACC DP100s. These are gonna run you $21.99. So another set of $20 speakers right here, basically $20 speaker, all right, $21.99, 22 bucks. Let's see any features that we need to check on this. 25 hours of playtime, does have a microphone. Let's see, blah, 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 2,200 milliamp battery. Okay, and it has auxiliary. All right, so not bad. Another $20 speaker, all right, another one. Let's grab the little unboxing knife. Let's bust this one open real quick. Rah. Let's see what this one looks like. This is a heavy hitter. I'll throw the link for this too. Y'all need this, man. I, you got to charge this. Keep in mind, now, this is the Zero Lemon. This is the big boy battery charger. You're going to have to charge this for about a day and a half. That's the only downside with this. Don't think you're going to charge this at 9 o'clock in the morning and then, you know, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, you out the door. No. Charge this up on Sunday morning and take it off on Monday you know, maybe Monday morning when you're going to work. And this is going to last you all week long. Easily. Okay, that's the one I leave in the car. All right, let's check out the Easy AC, the DP100. Okay. Nice little, nice little velvet carrying bag. Okay, Easy ACC on the, on the tag. Oh, this one got a nice little weight to it. Nice little build. Kind of looks like the Jam Storm. Y'all remember that one? Let's see. Trying to be, trying to be nice. Trying to be patient. All right, here we go. Another auxiliary cord and micro USB charging cable. All right, so you're gonna have a nice collection by the end of this video. And of course, your usual books and shit. And there's one more thing in here. Let's see, okay, Easy ACC, they care about you. All right, so they care about me, I like them. I like to be cared about. <laughs> All right, so the carrying case and all that, we'll file that to the side, save the cables. Nice little small speaker, though, has a nice build to it for 20 bucks. I thought it was going to be a lot more flimsy, but it has a nice weight, matte finish on the top. It goes three buttons, play, volume up and down. It looks like an LED and a mic. Let's see, got that grip on the bottom, so this way it won't move around on the table. On the back, here's your DCN, micro USB, on and off, and your auxiliary input spot. All right, so let's see if this got any juice on this. Now, some of these speakers I had sitting around for a minute. All right, this one is in. Looks like it's in pairing mode. Let's grab the Galaxy Note 5. We're going to put some mileage on this Note 5 today. And let's pair this up. Now, like I said, no editing allowed. So this way we could do everything in real time. And we'll see how, how easy or hard this is. Let's see. Okay, pop right up. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, okay, there it goes. Nice and connected. Let's take it back to the Raymond Noodles. Keep it moving. Let's get max volume. Let's make sure we got max on this. There we go. Wait for that bass drop. Not bad at all, not bad at all. This one got a nice little bass, nice little bass punch to it. Okay. Honestly, this one got a nice little bass punch to it for 22 bucks. This is another nice little desktop speaker right here. Take this to work. You're not gonna drown out your whole office. But this is good for nice personal music. 
All right, personal music in your little personal space. Better than having your phone speaker. Better than using headphones. And you got to keep pulling them off to hear your surrounding sounds. This ain't bad at all. I'm definitely feeling the build quality on this, though. It's super heavy. Not, not... Not ultra heavy, <laughs> not ultra heavy, super heavy. All right, there's a difference. But it has that nice metal trim to it. Speaker grill all the way around. Yeah, this is cool right here. So this is a nice one right here for 22 bucks. That's a nice little pickup right there. Happy I caught that one. All right, let's keep it moving. What we got next? Take it back to the website. All right, so next we got the Timo Bangle. Let me find that one real quick. All right, so we got the Timo Bangle. Here we go. Timo Bangle. All right, let me turn this one off too. Before I get annoyed. All right, there we go. All right, so this is the Timo Bangle right here. Ultra thin and compact, metal housing design, ideal professional travel companion, wireless Bluetooth speaker, true sound with NFC and built-in microphone. Now the price for this one, $28.95. All right, so you're looking at about 30 bucks for this one. Let's scan through the features real quick. Mm, blah, 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 thin and stylish. Six watts, built-in rechargeable battery, 10 hours playtime. All right, microphone for hands-free calling. Okay, auxiliary line. Non-Bluetooth devices will work. All right, so all of that for 28 bucks. Let's check this one out. Now, I just had a little OCD alert. Sorry, fellas. All right, here we go. Let's keep these for the connection. All right, here we go. Timo Laboratories, ultra-thin metal Bluetooth speaker. Okay, let's see what we got. We got the on and off button, power mode, select mic, USB charging port, auxiliary, volume up and down, play and pause. Previous and next track songs. All right, let's see how do we open this one up. I know, y'all waiting for it, right? Y'all want to activate Beast Mode? Why not? Fellas, somebody count me in. Three, two, one. Activate Beast Mode. Ah, let's go. Ah, one more. Ah, there we go. Whew. I just came from the gym, too, so I'm feeling kind of strong right now. That was some totally unnecessary, but it was fun. All right, so let's see what you get inside now. Usual books and shit. This is the Timo Bengal. All right, here's your instruction manual. Uh, no need to read that. We'll just file that. Remember, 30 bucks for this. Nice heavy weight on this. <laughs> That's what she said. All right, now you get your uh, your white auxiliary cables. Let's see. These look kind of short. Okay, long enough to do the job. White auxiliary cables. White micro USB charging port. And that's pretty much it. Okay, let's take a look at the speaker now. I can feel that cold metal through the plastic, though. Oh, they don't make it easy. They don't make it easy. Oh, now this one feels dope, though. This one feels dope. It's nice and heavy. <laughs> All right, it's nice and heavy, thick. Feels good in the hand. All right, let me stop playing. This has a real, it has a real metal build to it all the way around. It's super cold now. It's, it's wintertime out here, so it's been sitting around in the cold house, but you can feel the cold still. I love that. Nice looking uh, grill on the front, very space age. Little rubber piece right here. On the top, here's your three buttons. Volume up and down, play and pause. Big NFC connect on the side. Shout out to Android heads. Let's see, this looks like a power button. There we go, power button. The M, that's probably for mode. mode. has me on, waiting for device connecting. Oh, okay, okay, I like that. I like that. That's the little mic right there. Now, you can put a, uh, uh, looks like you could drop a, a micro SD card right in there. And that's your auxiliary cable. All right, now, let me just make sure I'm not, uh, I'm not giving y'all no uh, bogus information. Let's just check something real quick. Okay, that looks like you could drop a micro SD card right in there. Let's look for number eight. I know, I hate, to, I hate to have to take it to the book, but I know somebody's going to ask me that. Somebody's going to ask. All right, so let's take it to the book real quick. Let's see, blah, 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 number eight. Yep, you can drop a micro SD card right up in here. So that's kind of tough. All right, so let me grab another phone. All right, we'll use the uh, S6 Edge Plus. Let's pair this one up real quick. Talk amongst yourself, fellas. Let's see what we got here. Now, it said Bluetooth pairing mode is, is ready. There we go. That's the Timo Labs Bangle 1. Let's connect this real quick. Oh, any day now. All right, there we go. Connection successful. Yo, that's kind of hot. Now, did you notice the first voice was a male voice? Now, you got a female voice? I like those little touches right there. I mean, it ain't nothing too fancy, but I like that kind of stuff. All right, 
Take it back to the ramen noodles. Let's get max volume. Oh, a little chirping sound. Okay. Yo, this is nice and heavy though. Let me see the bottom. Okay, rubber grips on the bottom. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, I'm not mad. Yo, this one sounds okay. LED. Yo, all right. All right, my bad. I, <laughs> I was about to say something. I accidentally pressed pause on the camera instead of pause on the music. All right. Now, real quick. 30 bucks for this. This might be the steal of this video. The build quality on this is ridiculous. It's 100% metal. And it has a nice bass punch to it. Nice mids, nice highs. Not bad at all for 30 bucks. All right. I'm definitely not going to complain about this one. I like these little rubber grips because it has that little slim design. So this one seems like it will be easy to fall over. But those rubber grip, uh, rubber grips keep it in place. Let me hear that one more time, though. Yo, this thing sounds dope, though. For Thirty bucks. Okay. Yeah, this is a go right here for thirty bucks. All right. So so far, this is the steal of this video. Now the water speakers, they look cool. The Easy AC, that one is cool for twenty-two dollars. But for thirty bucks right here, so far that's the win. All right, so far we got a winner on deck. Let's keep it moving though. OCD alerts. What we got next? All right, where we at? Okay, so next we got the Fender Blade. Now this is a, this one looks interesting. This one looks interesting. All right, we got the Fender Blade. Let's read through these features real quick. Now this one is a pocket-sized design, enhanced-based speakers, Bluetooth 4.0, NFC, built-in mic, and MP3 player, rechargeable, hands-free speakerphone, compatible with all Bluetooth devices. Now this one is gonna run you $29.99. So this is another $30 speaker right here. Let's scan through, did we miss anything? Pocket size, stereo subwoofer, supports micro SD card and aux cable, I like that. Let's see, NFC, 33 feet range, and you get a 365 day guarantee. All right, so for 30 bucks, this one right now looks good on paper. Let's check this one out though. All right, super light though. So this one, this gotta be super pocket sized on this. Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Usual books and shit. Okay, 365 day warranty, that's a year. <laughs> uh, I'm trolling. All right, let's see, here goes your aux cable now. I like these ones a little bit better. The Tango Free one. Super thin. Okay, a little. Now the micro SD, uh, micro SD, micro USB charging cable is really, really small. And of course, I tried to pull it. Uh-oh. Am I going to have to rage this open? All right, here we go. <laughs> Super small on this one, though. Okay, not, you know, not a big deal. 30 bucks for this. And here's the speaker itself. Okay, now this one has a lightweight build to it. Matte finish all the way around though. What's this? Uh, Yo, look at the back of this. Kind of leatherish, let me smell this. Okay, it's not leather, <laughs> it's not leather, but it looks leatherish. There goes your NFC tag right there. Bluetooth button. This looks like, mm, I don't even know what that is. You got, uh, <laughs> you got play and pause, reverse, skip tracks. That might be the mic button, and here's a call button. Or oh, this could be the power, could that be the power button? Let's see. Now that would be awkward place to put a power button. Let's see now, is this waterproof? Everything is protected on this. Okay, there's your auxiliary cable, micro SD card slot, and uh, micro USB charging port. This could be on and off right here. Let's see. Yeah, that's on and off, but I had this one sitting around for a minute, might not have any juice. All right, so what we'll do is we have to charge this one up real quick. And we'll keep it moving to the next speaker. And by the time we get to the end of the video, we should be able to test this one out. Ah! <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, let me grab the charger real quick. We'll plug this in and we'll see what it looks like. 
Let me just make sure this, that, that this wasn't the power button. It could be one of these two buttons. I think it's this one, though, because that looks like three LEDs, and you see it's red, so that got to be on and off. All right, so let's plug this in and see if we could get any. Oh, there it goes. All right, so yeah, that was the power button. All right, so this one was dead. Let's let this one charge up for a few minutes. Don't let me forget to uh, test out the fender blade. All right, somebody remind me. What we got next? Let's keep it moving. I got a few more left. I'm going to try to speed through these a little bit faster. All right, so next, we got the M-Pal. Now, y'all remember M-Pal? They make a lot of budget products. All right, so we got the M-Pal Armor. Now, this is a waterproof joint, or shall I say water resistant. All right, so we got the M-Pal Armor Portable Wireless Bluetooth Speaker Splash Shock Dustproof for Outdoor Showers. Out outdoor Shower. It comes in uh, orange, black, and it also comes in blue and black. Now, the price for this one, $35.99. All right, let's see. Let's scan through these features real quick. Bluetooth 4.0 clear music extra long built-in rechargeable battery 1000 milliamp battery for 10 hours of playing time let's see blah 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 blah. all right that's pretty much it splash proof dust proof everything proof all right i like that all right so let's pop this one open real quick let me grab a little 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 rah. there we go empower armor 35 bucks all right let's see what you got okay Unique looking design on this one. Looks very rugged. Let's see. Okay, now is this two different cables or just is this just two tone? Let's see. Is my mind playing tricks on me? All right, now this is yeah, this is all right. This is a two tone, two tone auxiliary cable. That's that's different. That's different. Let's see. Usual books and shit. We don't need those. Bunch of clips and cables all over the place. All right. This is your micro USB charging cable. Add that to the collection. Now the speaker itself, super lightweight on this one. All right, has that has that rubber trim to it, kind of like a matte finish on the rubber trim. This one definitely looks rugged. Okay, I had it upside down. Let's see. Open. This is now water resistant, so there's USB right there. Okay, that's a USB in there. Let's see. Power. Let's see if we got any juice on this one. Okay. Oh, it sounds kind of loud. Little LED pairing indicator, volume up and down. Let's open this one. Oh, here we go. Okay. That's your auxiliary and micro USD. Uh, USD. <laughs> micro USB input right there. That's how you're going to charge this joint up. Little Empower Brandon. Oh, I did have it. Now, the Empower Brandon is this way, but everything else. Okay, this was just upside down. All right, whatever. Whatever. Let's pair this up to the Galaxy Note 5. And we'll do a little sound test on this one. All right, let me take it to the Bluetooth menu. Okay, Empower Armor, pop right up. Okay. <laughs> Let's get max volume. Okay. Back to the Raymond Noodles, yo, one more time. A little bit of bass on this, I could already feel it. A little, a little vibration. Okay, 35 bucks for this one. So far, I like the uh, Timo one a little bit better. This one doesn't sound bad, but you got to remember this one is the splash proof, dust proof, the more rugged one right here. So this might be a little one to throw in the backseat of your car and just take this with you when you're doing your little outdoor activities. It would have been nice if they had a spot for a carabiner clip on this, but it is what it is. All right, so 35 bucks for this one, not bad at all. This one has more of that rugged look to it too. So if you're looking for something that's more rugged outdoor style, then you can flow with that one. All right, let's, so let's keep it moving. I think I got two more. I, I know this video is long, but I'd rather do it like this instead of making, you know, three, four different videos. Let's just get it out the way in one night. All right, so what we got next? All right, so I got two more. All right, so next we got the Anchor. I'm saving the best one for last. 
All right, so we got two more. All right, so this right here, this is the anchor. Let's see, does it even have a name? <laughs> All right, so this is the anchor. We have to go with the technical name. All right, the anchor portable stereo Bluetooth speaker. All right, so this is the A7909. All right, for your records. Now, this has a 24-hour battery. All right, 24-hour battery, portable wireless speaker with dedicated port for iPhone, iPad, Samsung, Nexus, HTC, and more. Now, the price for this one, $55.99. All right, so after the taxes and everything, you're looking at about 60 bucks on this one. All right, so double the price of everything else up here, triple on some of the occasions. All right, let's see. Um, let's scan through this real quick. Stunning stereo sound. Now, check this out. 24-hour life. All right, 24-hour battery life. That's, that's, I find that amazing, but we'll see. 500 song playtime powered by a built-in 6,200 milliamp battery. All right, now that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. That's a big battery for a portable Bluetooth speaker, uh, speaker this size. Let's see, Bluetooth 4.0. You got NFC capabilities. You got the auxiliary. All right, that's cool. You get a little travel pouch. All right, not bad, not bad. So this one is basically 60 bucks. Let's, let's bring this one out one more time. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Rah! Okay. Okay. Now, Anchor does make some nice stuff, so we'll see. We'll see how this one sounds. Let's see, here's your usual books and shit. Not happy? Okay, what happens if you're not happy? Let's see. Okay, if you're not happy, they get a bunch you got a bunch of sites that you could bitch to about it. Sounds good. I like that. Okay. Another little box in here. Not bad with the presentation on this one. 60 bucks. Okay, micro USB charging cable. Add that to the collection. Another aux cord. Add that to the collection. Another velvet traveling pouch with a little anchor branding on it. Not bad. And here's the speaker itself. Okay, nice look to the speaker. Now, the whole bottom of this piece right here is rubber. All right, so this is going to stay in place. NFC tag on the top. Two simple buttons. Volume up and down. Speaker grills on the side. Okay, speaker grill on one side. Big giant power button. All right, so this is <laughs> this speaker right here. Anybody's going to be able to figure this out. Look at the size of these buttons. Okay, anchor branding on the front. I could do without that, but it is what it is. Let's see, fingerprints. Okay, not too heavy with the fingerprints. Here's your power uh, micro USB. That's how you're going to power it up. Little LED auxiliary in. All right. Not the fanciest design ever. Okay, this does light up. No voice prompts. I was waiting for a second. Okay. Ah, oh boy. Let's pair this up real quick. Let me go back to Bluetooth settings. I know. I know. I know. All right. Anchor 7909. Here we go. So far, these all been pairing up pretty, uh, pretty quickly. All right. I like that. Back to the music. Let's get, let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's max value. <laughs> Caught me off guard. Oh, this one sounds, this one sounds all right, y'all. This one sounds all right. I feel some wind coming out the side, yep. Oh yeah, let's, let's wait for that bass drop. So far, this one got the best sound. All right, this is pretty obvious. Now, of course, you know, watching this video, you're not gonna get the full sounds. You're gonna, you're gonna have to take my word for it. 
but so far this one sounds the best and you know this is the most expensive one so i was gonna you know be kind of disappointed if it didn't but this one sounds the best a lot of bass on this you can feel the wind shooting out the side of this i like this one all right this is a nice one right here nice looking design on this not too space age and uh, space age and futuristic with the design and all that but this is one of those simple but effective products right here. All right, this one, you know, it, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It sounds good, though. Let's, let that rock one more time. Listen to the sound. This one. this one got the most bass so far. This one's the loudest. Got your old scape. All right. All right, yeah, so far, this is the best one right here. All right, so we're looking at almost 60 bucks for this one. Totally worth it. All right, we got one more now. We got the heavy hitter for last. Hopefully, this one should be the best. Now, same company that made the Timo. We got another Timo Labs one right here. All right, now this is the Timo Labs, the Corbett. All right, let me pull up the website. This is the Timo Corbett, okay? This is a rugged and waterproof wireless Bluetooth speaker. Now, it's available in two different colors. You got blue and you got orange now this is one i had sitting here for about three months i could have sworn they had three colors but maybe they only got two now anyway let's scan through the features real quick wireless bluetooth audio experience connect with uh most bluetooth devices extremely rugged design 100 percent waterproof feature ipx7 standard let's see rechargeable battery 10 hours of playing time i like that let's see uh Got a Caribbean on this one. I just said that about the Empower one. Got the AUX, and you got micro SD card slot and NFC and the microphone for hands free calling. This is the total package right here. Now, this one's going to run you $89.99. So, this is $90. So, we're still under the $100 threshold, but this one's kind of pushing it. But let's see now. If this one blows the anchor away, then this will be the win of the video. All right, so this is the Timo Corbett. Let's pop this one open. Okay, usual books and shit. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I did get the blue. I thought this. I thought I ordered the brown, uh, the gray one, but who knows what I was on that night. <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. All right. So this is the blue and black version. Oh, this one has a nice build to it, though. All of this is rubber. Oh, so far this one feels the best. All right, best build on this. Timo makes some good speakers, yo. Timo Labs. Now let's see this. Does this fold out? Oh, this is hot. This is hot. Built-in carabiner clip. This is hot right here. Let's see. You got your power button, play and pause, and the call button. Volume up and down. You got forward and reverse tracks, and you got a mode button. Okay, that looks like four LEDs right there, and another little LED, and another one. Let's see what this does. Lock and unlock. Let's unlock this. Oh, okay, this is not bad. On the inside, you got your on and off. Let's turn it on. Micro SD card, micro USB charging port, and your aux cable. All right, but now since this is 100% waterproof, put it on unlock mode, turn it back to lock. All right, so you're going to be on waterproof status. Set the power button. Bluetooth mode. More voice prompts. I like that. I forgot to look at the rest of this stuff, too. Not too much stuff. The usual auxiliary cable, micro USB charging cable. Added to the collection. Nice little presentation on this, though. Nice little presentation. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. But more importantly, we got to see how this sounds. So far, though, this has a, a super rugged build to it, though. Super duper rugged. I like the little little lion head. Little lion head emblem. I see that. Grill right here. Are these actual screws? They look like actual screws. This looks dope. All right, so let's pair this up real quick, and we'll see how it sounds. Let's take it to the Galaxy Note 5 one more time. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got coming up. Let's see, is this it? Now, I didn't have a name on this. I clicked that kind of fast. Okay, that was it. All right, so we got the Timo Labs Corbett 1. All right, let's get some volume. Okay, that's max volume. Oh, this one is loud. This one is loud. <laughs> this one is loud. All right, here we go, y'all. One last time, Raymond Noodles, bitch. Let's go. Whoa. That's not good.
let's turn it down. Let's turn it down. Hold up. All right, that's not a good sign right there. It's not a good sign. Hold up, we gotta, we gotta get maximum volume. That's not a good sign. Okay, max volume. Now, it does sound good, but for some reason, on maximum volume, it's not playing. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Let's turn it down some. Oh, I'm disappointed, because this one actually does sound good. It got a nice a nice vibration to it. Waterproof status. Nice build quality. But I'm not feeling this. Let, let me try that one more time. All right, let's try a different song. Maybe maybe, maybe it don't like this song. <laughs> maybe, it, maybe it don't like this song. You know, maybe, maybe it doesn't like the song. Let's, let, me throw on my, let me throw on my outro music. Let's see if I got my outro music in here real quick. I don't even. As a matter of fact, I got something else. We're just throwing anything. Let's throw on anything and try maximum value. All right, maximum value on anything. Wait for some bass to drop and see if it does that on and off joint again. Of course, I picked the song with the longest bass drop. Nope, nope, nope. All right. All right. For some reason, all right. We gotta we, let's get to the bottom of this real quick. Let me grab. Let me grab the. Let me grab an auxiliary cable. Let me see now. For some reason, though, I don't like that. I don't like that. All right. I'm going on record right now. I don't like that. But let's try one thing. Let's try auxiliary. We'll try to uh, connect this without using Bluetooth. Let me turn off Bluetooth all together on the phone. Bluetooth mode. All right, so we'll turn off Bluetooth. We'll use the we'll use the aux cable, and we'll see if we got the same same struggles. All right, let me find. Here we go. Let's try this again now. All right. Well, plugged in. Got maximum volume. Oh, I gotta hit mode. Mm, here we go. Let's see. Maybe we'll turn this part off. Okay, that's the actual power. You got two power switches on this. We'll turn this one back on. Bluetooth mode. All right, let's see. Um, Let's hold down. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm about to take an L, y'all. I'm about to take an L. So far, so far, nothing. All right, well, the bottom line is this. Even if it, look, I, I hate to give up. I hate to give up. But look, even if this part did work, maybe I should have used the um, cable that came with it. That shouldn't matter, though. Even if this part did work, why would you buy this knowing that you're going to have to specifically use the auxiliary cable? I don't like that. All right, let me see. Um, let's take it to the book real quick. I know, fellas. Let's take it to the book real quick. Let's see. Okay. Toggle, uh, let's see, modes. Okay, there we go. See? Okay. Toggle amongst Corbett operators modes, Bluetooth, auxiliary, input, and SD card mode. All right, so maybe I had an SD card mode. Let's try one more time. I'm just curious to know if when you play this on maximum volume, is it going to be like that every time? All right, so... There's no no voice prompt to let you know which mode you're in, though. I got music playing. All right, just so y'all know. Let's do it again. Look. All right, I got music playing. Plug in auxiliary. Now, this is on. Should be max volume. Let's, let's cycle through these. Let's try holding it down. Oh boy, I don't know, man. On a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna I'm have to give this one a flop, yo. I'm gonna have to give this one a flop. I wanted it to work, man. I tried. I'm gonna have to give it a flop, though. Let me um, let me connect Bluetooth. 
I, I hate I hate to flop something. I hate to flop something without without you know troubleshooting. But still, I'm not buying a waterproof speaker to have to use the aux cord. You know that kind of defeats the purpose. You want this to be up in the shower, no aux cord necessary. All right, so let's try to pair this one back up again. Let's try one more time. Yo, Timo, y'all better step y'all game up. Let's try one more time. All right, I got max volume on the phone. We're gonna let this ride for a second, then we're gonna try to max this one out too. Oh, that's a shame too, man. This one got a nice build quality too. <sighs> okay, now if you're gonna buy this and play it at this kind of volume, that's cool. But let's see. As soon as you get max volume, now nah, it, can't, it can't handle the max volume. That's a no go. All right, that's a no-go. So, fellas, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving this All right, y'all, time out. Now, you know I hate editing videos, but before I give something an official no-go, I like to troubleshoot it first to make sure I did all I could. So I paused the video. I found the official auxiliary cable that came with it, and we're going to try this out now. Aux mode. Now, when you use the official cable, you don't have to press the M button. It automatically puts it into auxiliary mode. So let's connect it to the Galaxy Note 5 and play some music. Okay, let's get max volume. Now, okay, that's max volume on the speaker. Let's uh, let's wait for the bass drop. All right, now we're gonna go to maximum volume on the phone. Same problem. A little bit. That's one press, two press, three press. All right, so you have to rock it at four down below, four presses below maximum volume for it to work. Now look. Bluetooth mode. On a scale of one to ten, this is a no go, especially for ninety bucks. Now, if it was for forty dollars, I would have said, okay, fine. It got a great build to it. I love the voice prompts. I like the built-in carabiner clip. I like the fact that it's waterproof, but I'd rather have something and not need it than need it and not have it. And by that, I mean the volume. Now you could buy this if you want for 90 bucks. I don't recommend it for 90 bucks and just don't ever play it on maximum volume. And also when I pause the video, I tried to play some other music. So I played some iTunes music, some Amazon, some videos from YouTube. Any song that I played, when I put it on maximum volume, it started popping in and out like that. So on my scale, this is a no-go. All right, so shout out to Timo. Y'all got one quality speaker right here, but this one right here, this is a do not buy. All right, so we're going to have to file this one to the side. Now, let's do a quick recap. The E-Joy speakers, 20 bucks for this. This is a win right here. This is an automatic win. $20, you cannot complain about this. This is a perfect gift. It's gonna look nice on your desktop table. The little lights and stuff, mood lighting, Netflix and chill status, that's a win. All right, the Easy AC, Easy ACC, this one has a great build to it. This is another $22 speaker right here. Nice little joint right here. This is a good good pickup right here. I'll give this one a go too. Now this might be the steal of the video. 30 bucks for this, all right, the Timo Labs version, 30 bucks, Super, super duper quality build on this all metal. Nice and slim. You could drop this right in your back pocket. This is a win. All right, this is a win for 30 bucks. The MPAL version, only thing missing on this is a carabiner clip. Other than that, this is a quality, quality little Bluetooth speaker right here, $35. Water resistant. I'll give this one a go too. And the best sounding speaker so far in this whole video, 55 bucks, the most expensive one, the Anchor. This one sounds great. Has a nice build to it, very simplistic. Uh, you could definitely give this to your grandmother, your grandfather, even your moms and your pops if they're not that tech savvy. Not too many buttons for them to get confused with. This is a win. Now, real quick, thanks for reminding me. I forgot to try out the the, <laughs> the Fender. All right, let's try the Fender real quick. All right, so let's uh, power this one on. All right, it's charged up. 
Let's do a quick sound test on this one. Power on. Connected. All right, let's play some music. Okay, let's find a song. Here we go. Let's get some volume on this. All right, that's maximum volume. Not bad on this one. Not bad on this one at all. Let me pause it. Not bad on this one at all. Now, definitely not blown away. I definitely not blown away for 30, was this $30? If I had to choose, I would definitely take the Timo Labs version. Both of these speakers, what I do like about them though, very small, you could drop this, especially this one. You could drop this in your back pocket. And this is perfect for those impromptu card games that just pop up. Or if you got a little, you know, a little get together, you and a couple of dudes and y'all somewhere where you can't really blast music, but you want something a little bit louder than your cell phone, this will be perfect right here. All right, this is a nice portable speaker, has the NFC and the leather back. Not blown away by the sound, though. I would definitely go with this one. You could drop this in your back pocket also. It's going to stick out a little bit, but you can still put it in your back pocket. This one right here is too thick. All right, too thick for the back pocket. So there you have it. Overall, I would say my favorite one out of this video is the Timo Labs and the Anchor. These are my two favorite ones. This is a must-have right here. For 20 bucks, though, these are must-have if you got a little computer table. Or these are must-have for the grab bags or if you want to just give somebody a you know quick top of the mind, <laughs> top of the mind gift. You know, no thinking, just $20 speakers. Nobody gonna complain about these. Anyway. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know which one is your favorite, if any of these. And let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the Amazon Warrior on Sundays. Y'all already know, Dream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where it's at. Oh yeah, one more thing. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Look out for that mixtape.